Eigenlayer restaking, what exactly is it? And how can we go ahead and use the Eigenlayer protocol to restake our tokens? We'll go through that in this video. Firstly, a primer on what exactly we're doing right here. So on Ethereum these days, you have layer two protocols and they don't want to go through and set up all of the network infrastructure themselves because it's very expensive and they want to focus on applications. So what they do is use middleware providers like Eigenlayer and they pay to play for security or data availability. What we can do is use our security through our staked tokens to provide that to these guys. And so they're going to pay and we receive those benefits. So if you have Ethereum like this, what people usually will do is go and stake that Ethereum with one of the providers like Lido, Rocket Pool, Coinbase ETH, Binance, Wrapped ETH, or some of the others. We get a yield from the Ethereum protocol, let's call it 3%. If we want to get higher yield by providing security to layer twos, we can use Eigenlayer. So we actually take our staked token, for example, staked ETH, and we put it with Eigenlayer. They then use that and someone like Mantle pays them a fee for that. So Mantle are paying and that goes back into Eigenlayer and Eigenlayer pass most of that back to us. And so we get more yield, whatever it may be. So what we're doing is restaking our state tokens to provide security or something else for layer two networks. They pay a fee and we get that fee. Hence, we get a higher staking reward. There are extra risks here as well to be aware of before restaking. The first one is smart contracts from Eigenlayer may have some issues. The second and larger one is that throughout this process, there will be increased risk of slashing. And that means that potentially any restake tokens that you have could be slashed and that will reduce your rewards over time. Now, this might be pulled and so slashing may have a limited effect, but it is something to be aware of. Now from here, which assets can we actually restake? These are those, the supported ones as of right now. You can see them here, Stake Teeth, Rocket Pool, and so on. However, they are adding a couple of others very uh, soon as well. Frax, Mantle, and Liquid Staked ETH, as you can see here. So any of these staking tokens that you may have, you can use them and restake them in the Eigenlayer protocol. We'll need one of these liquid staking tokens in our wallet to go ahead and restake it with Eigenlayer. The easiest way to do that these days is to just buy them on a centralized exchange and then withdraw them directly to your wallet. If you have Bybit, they have Lido stake teeth available. You can literally swap it just like any other token for a stable coin, buy it and then withdraw it out to your wallet. If you're using another platform, you can stake on there. For example, Binance's version, buy Ethereum on their platform and then go and stake ETH like this. And it will take you through to the stake ETH page where you're getting Binance's version, which is B ETH. You can then wrap it into wrapped B ETH and withdraw that over the Ethereum network into your wallet. You can then go ahead and restake it on Eigenlayer. I'll leave links below to Bybit, Binance, and some others that I use. Uh, if you're new, you can get some deposit and trading bonuses. If you restake with Eigenlayer, your wallet will be accumulating restaked points. They say that this is a way to measure your participation. So presumably any rewards that the protocol earns have to be given out on a pro rata basis. And it looks like the point system is the way they're doing that. This also may be used for potential airdrops in the future though. So something to keep aware of. If you have a liquid staking token on an exchange, you're going to have to withdraw it to your wallet. So what we can do is get any wallet that we own up and we can get our wallet address. If you don't know how to set up wallets, I'll leave that for video guides down in the description. I have my wallet address here, so I'm just going to copy that and then withdraw this that I've bought on Bybit. So withdraw and for right now, I'll put in my wallet address, but we need to make sure that we're using the Ethereum mainnet. We can only use Eigenlayer with Ethereum mainnet right now. So you'll have to withdraw any liquid staking tokens over Ethereum mainnet to your uh, wallet. So for right here, that's ERC20. You can go ahead and withdraw that out to the wallet that you're using. Because we're using Ethereum mainnet, the wallet that we're using will also need ETH to pay for gas on the Ethereum mainnet. So you'll need at least two transactions out into your wallet for that. If you want to go ahead and actually use the Ethereum mainnet to stake ETH directly and use some of these protocols to do that, you can do, and I've got tutorial guides for that down in the description as well. But once you have the liquid staking token in your wallet, we can go ahead and connect it to the Eigenlayer app. It's eigenlayer.xyz, I'll link them down below as well. Connect wallet, I'll just collect MetaMask here, and now it's connected. 
So what you should see down at the bottom is all of the liquid staking tokens that you can restake on Eigenlayer. Here's the TVL of them on the right hand side, total value locked. Lido is by far the biggest. So if you have some of this in your wallet, click this and then click deposit right here. You can choose how much you restake. This will be an Ethereum mainnet transaction, so you'll need to pay Ethereum mainnet fees and have ETH in your wallet to go ahead and do that. Once it's deposited, all you will see at the top right here is how much you have restaked and the points that you're gaining and accruing because of that restaking. This is how much you're restaking in terms of uh, relationship with everyone else that's restaking as well. Now from here, if you have that restaked, you can also withdraw. So click on the asset that you have restaked and click unstake. What you'll do here is choose an amount that you want to unstake from the protocol and press unstake. That's another Ethereum transaction in your wallet. So you're going to need a, an amount of ETH to pay for that if you want to unstake. That will unstake it out of the Eigenlayer protocol and move the liquid staked token back into your wallet. And so you'll be still accruing the Ethereum staking rewards from that, but you won't be restaking it in Eigenlayer anymore. Eigenlayer helps us earn higher rewards for our tokens, but there may be some extra risks involved as well. I'll leave the other helpful videos and exchange links down below if you need them. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.